Hey there, Henry here, welcoming you back to Xbox On. It's an exciting time, what with the new consoles arriving, along with a library of literally thousands of games thanks to Back Compat. Basically, any game you choose to fire up on your Xbox Series X and S should run better than ever before thanks to automatic improvements that tap into the console's extra power. But to really take advantage of the hardware, you're going to want to look out for games with the optimized for Xbox Series X and S label. This means they've been built specifically for next gen, whether it's a brand new game or a new version of an old favorite. There are plenty of boosts you can expect to see, which we'll be talking you through in this video, along with 10 optimized games you have to try out to really see what these consoles are capable of. Let's start with the definition of an old favorite, Halo The Master Chief Collection. This was already an unbeatable package, but on Xbox Series X and S, it's now the ultimate way to experience these classic shooters. All six, yep, count them, six games in the collection run at a buttery smooth 120 frames per second in campaign and multiplayer on both consoles and at 4K resolution on the Xbox Series X. On top of that, 343 have been able to crank up all the graphic settings and have even added an FOV slider that lets you open your field of view all the way up to 120 degrees if you fancy. The results are, well, put it this way, you've never seen New Mombasa, the silent cartographer, or any of those iconic locations quite like this before. And if you're the kind of person who likes a bit of couch co-op, you're in luck because local multiplayer is getting some awesome enhancements too. Two player split screen will still run at 120 FPS. And even if you've got four Spartans on board, the game will still run at a smooth 60 FPS without many of the performance throttles originally required to squeeze all this action onto a single screen. Another game getting a split screen boost is Fortnite. You'll be able to do some sofa based battle royale with a pal without having to sacrifice that smooth 60 FPS frame rate. Once again, you can play in crisp 4K on Xbox Series X, but what really stands out here is the bespoke visual upgrades that have been created specifically for next gen. Epic's lead programmer Ben Woodhouse told Xbox Wire that we wanted to use the extra horsepower to make the game feel more alive, not just to increase the graphic settings and resolution. To do that, we had to use the power of the hardware in more creative ways. That means stuff like volumetric clouds to dive through when you're dropping in, completely new storm effects, more realistic smoke and liquid, and my personal favorite, grass and trees that respond to explosions. And if you get caught in one of those explosions, it's no big deal thanks to significantly improved loading times that will get you into your next game that much quicker. And this isn't the end of the next gen enhancements. Epic says to expect more improvements in future updates potentially including a 120 FPS mode, and that's before we even get into the big move to Unreal Engine 5 that's going to reinvent the game completely. And it's not just the biggest AAA titles that are doing amazing things with the Xbox Series X and S though. One of the games we're most excited to get our hands on is Call of the Sea, pulling into harbour on the 8th of December. This gorgeous first person adventure might be the work of a considerably smaller team than the games we've looked at so far, but you wouldn't know it to look at it. Prepare to be whisked away to a mysterious tropical island, beautifully realised in 4K60 and brought to life with DirectX ray tracing. Ray tracing is a technology that allows for more realistic lighting, shadows and reflections than ever before. And you can see from this footage just how much of an effect it has. All in all, Call of the Sea looks like a very welcome ray of sunshine for the depths of winter. Just don't be surprised if things take a darker turn. And while we're talking small teams, you can't really get much smaller than one person. The Falconeer is stunning enough until you realise it's all the work of one developer, Thomas Sala. So let's leave it to the man himself to explain exactly what next-gen hardware has brought to his aerial combat game. The extra power and performance will make worlds so much more alive. Think about 60 FPS. A lot of people think they can't even see the difference between 30 and 60 FPS, but when you ask them to focus on the details, they start to realize they're noticing more. 
If something moves quickly across the screen at 30 FPS, it's like a blur, but at 60 FPS, you can see all of the details on it. It feels less like a game and becomes more tangible. He's also been able to add extra details to this unique ocean world, like putting docked ships in harbor way below your flight path without causing any dip in performance. And okay, Tomas isn't doing this entirely on his own. The game's music does come from composer Benedict Nichols, who's tapping into the console's Dolby Atmos support to create immersive soundscapes for the game. It all works to put you right in the saddle of your huge feathery friend in the skies of this wonderful rich fantasy world. In other words, you'll believe you can fly. Now, so far we've looked at 3D titles and how they're benefiting from the next-gen optimization, but what about a game that's a little flatter? Ori and the Will of the Wisps really shows how much 2D games can get out of this hardware. As standard, it runs as 120 FPS, so you can really appreciate every individual frame of this game's beautiful animation. And in combination with the instant input response, giving you the tightest possible control over Ori's incredible acrobatics. But if you fancy really testing your screen's resolution, there's an optional mode that renders the game at a whopping 6K and then super samples it down to 4K 60. Together with the game's new sharpness setting, you're looking at unprecedented image quality. And honestly, there are few games that deserve it more. That art style truly is pixel perfect. Ori is not the only game joining the 6K party. The Tourist has a completely different, though equally distinctive art style, and it offers two modes to let you appreciate it however you fancy. So for the smoothest possible play experience on Xbox Series X, there's 4K at 120fps. But if frame rate's less important to you, or maybe your screen doesn't go all the way to 120Hz, then 6K at 60fps is the way to go. With some beautifully deployed HDR capability to bring its sun-kissed island setting to life, it makes a surprising showcase for next-gen hardware. The developer describes it like playing a fun CGI movie, and well, they're not wrong. And if that's not enough to convince you, well, this is an Xbox Game Pass title, so as long as you've got a subscription, you can get stuck in straight away without having to make a purchase. And I really do mean straight away on Xbox Series X and S, because the tourist has no loading screens. At all. Full stop. Okay, let's pack all that sunshine away for a minute because we're off to next-gen Britain in Forza Horizon 4. Speaking as a native old blighty, I can confirm it looks just as good as the real thing. Probably a bit better to be honest, because at least in Forza you're never stuck with the weather for more than a week. Once again we've got a game that runs in native 4K60 on the Series X, with faster loading times whether you're switching cars, moving between seasons, or jumping across the entire map. So you can go from springtime Scotland to winter in the Cotswolds in a matter of seconds. And that's just the start of what Playground Games have been able to do with this next-gen hardware. The level of detail has been increased on every single asset in this huge open world, making for fuller, more realistic trees for you to narrowly avoid crashing into and more convincing splashes when you drive through a puddle. Handy, given the setting. Plus, that detail renders further than ever before, so you can really be racing for the horizons. But on top of all that, one of the reasons that racing games always make such great next-gen showcases is the cars themselves. Here's creative director Mike Byrne explaining it to Major Nelson during the Xbox launch celebration. We've been able to take the full suite of visual upgrades and pump them up to the absolute max. A bit like running PC with everything set to ultimate. In a few areas, it is past what we achieved on PC Ultimate. Things like shadow quality and reflection quality. If you look at the bonnet of the car, you can see how crisp and accurate all the reflections are. It just makes it feel like everything is taking place in the same world. Sometimes in games, certainly older generations, things feel like they're not in the scene together. With reflections like this and the shadows, we'll see as we play through every single frame looks much more realistic. Optimized games aren't necessarily static things either. Take for example Dead by Daylight. You can play this asymmetric multiplayer slasher movie on Xbox Series X right now and benefit from 4K 60 performance. 
But the game is also undergoing a much deeper graphical upgrade thanks to the Realm Beyond update, which is totally overhauling every aspect of the game. The maps, tens of thousands of assets, VFX, lighting, and of course, those iconic horror killers. The aim is to create something as scarily believable as a nightmare, apparently, and we can't wait to be scared out of our skins all over again. The devs are calling it a complete remaster of the game and one that will happen before your very eyes because these improvements are being rolled out as a series of free updates, which given the games available on Xbox Game Pass and Ultimate members can even claim a perk to unlock an extra survivor and killer, well it makes for a scarily good deal. So by now you're probably getting an idea of how the Xbox Series X and S hardware is being used to create meaningful, different next-gen experiences. And one of the best examples of this is NBA 2K21. So yes, you're looking at an eye-popping graphical leap here, with higher quality textures, incredibly realistic lighting with ray tracing, and completely rebuilt animation and physics engine for the most lifelike player movement and impact we've ever seen. But the game itself is a step up from the current gen version in pretty much every way. From an expanded My Career campaign to a ton of new WNBA modes to build out the women's game. And the next gen exclusive, The City, an open world for you to explore and ball in. Even though soundtrack is getting an upgrade with over 200 jams at launch and more to come. The coolest next gen addition though has to be the lower bowl. This is the courtside area and it's now populated with more than 150 AI driven characters, individually reacting to the game and interacting with each other. It's just a small background detail but it really sells the idea that you're right there in the stadium. Finally, let's wrap up with another game that's totally reinventing itself for next gen No Man's Sky, where the next generation update has just landed. You can now load into and jump around its procedurally generated universe up to 10 times faster, and the worlds you'll find there are much lusher and more detailed. Expect higher resolution textures and richer plant life, plus enhanced graphical settings that improve everything from animation to draw distance. Multiplayer is bigger than ever before too, letting 32 players explore together for the first time. And it doesn't matter what generation or platform you're all on thanks to crossplay. And you'll need their help because limits on base building have been lifted to allow for some truly epic constructions. It's amazing to think that these features weren't even in the game at launch and now they're getting bigger and better than ever before. Oh, and it's now on Game Pass 2, so if you've played in the past, now is the perfect time to check back in and discover what the game has grown into on Xbox Series X and S. I'd say the sky's the limit, but in No Man's Sky, that's just the start. These are just 10 of the optimized games we're most excited about. There are loads more out there to discover, so if you've got any favorites of your own to recommend, shout us out in the comments. And for more looks at what the Xbox Series X and S are capable of, make sure to subscribe to the channel and check us out on Twitch, where we're streaming next-gen games every single weekday. Hit that like button and we'll see you next time. Bye!